Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Raw Keith and today we're going to be learning about how to create the most realistic AI user generated content for your brand or business. I bet you couldn't tell that I'm AI, right? So here's how to make the most realistic AI UGC avatars. These videos can be in any niche. They can be in any setting and they can even include products from your business. You'll notice that most people, when they make AI UGC, it ends up looking a lot like this. This perfume bottle has been everything for me recently. Now, there's nothing wrong with this, but I'm gonna teach you how you can create this style, which looks hyper-realistic, but also how we can level this up ever so slightly. So I'm also gonna teach you how you can create content that looks like this as well, with any product with super crisp, high-resolution fidelity. So let's dive right in. So today we're gonna to be learning about how you can create all of this content using a platform called Arcads. Now Arcads is built for AI UGC and I'll leave a link to it as the first link in the description so that you can go and access it too. Now, once you've made an account, my recommendation would be go straight to the see more option here. When you click on this, it's going to bring up a bunch of different tools and options. And we're going to walk through some of these because some of them are just incredible. So first of all, they've got Sora 2 actors. Sora 2 um, is one of the best AI video models in the market right now. So once you click on this, you'll see that there is a whole library of different AI UGC actors that you can pick from. And these are all custom like templated preset designs that they've uh, already made for you. So if you see an actor that you want to use in here, you can go ahead and already start using them. Like this one here looks awesome. So there's a bunch in here that you can use to kind of start promoting your brand or business. And there's a bunch of really great options in there. Some of them are a little more like high quality, like this one in here. And then a lot of them are like iPhone, um, kind of just like selfie walking. Hey, I'm one of the AI actors on Arcads. Right, just selfie walking style. Hey, I'm one or you can have like more tech creator style like this. Hey, for example. I'm one of the AI actors on Arcads. This is just the base. You can remix it with your own idea. Your Okay, so there's loads of different options and you can pick one that matches your style or what I like to do is actually custom design my own. So we're gonna dive into that right now. So click on the see more option again and you'll see here you have the option for Sora 2 Pro. Now, if you select this here, we now have the option to write in a prompt to start creating our AI UGC. Now, the most important thing in this uh, whole process is the prompting structure, okay? And I have built this custom AI UGC uh, like prompting structure specifically for Sora 2. And I'll leave a link to it as the second link in the description. And I'm gonna show you this. So if you go on ChatGPT, these are my custom GPTs here. There's actually 5,000 plus people who are using this right now. So it's tested, it's tested and proven to work. So you can also go and use this. So I'll leave a link to this again in the description. And once you're on it on ChatGPT, you'll be greeted with something like this. Now to get started, all you want to do first things first is upload a reference image of your product. So for this, I'm gonna choose Dior Sauvage. Um, and I'm just gonna upload a reference image of the product in here. Now we can write in a basic prompt and we can say, create an AI UGC style advert that looks like it's been filmed on an iPhone. It should look very natural and it should be a subtle promotion of someone talking about the Dior Sauvage perfume bottle and about how much they like it, right? Now, what this is going to do is it's going to take all of this context and this information, and it's going to build this out in this highly stylized, highly customizable AI um, kind of prompt, right? Now, take a look at this. It's gonna look like a whole bunch of jargon, but this is actually just a structure that Sora really understands on the back end. So you can start by just kind of taking a copy of all of this, and we can copy all of that and then go back into Arcads, right? We can paste that in here. And what's amazing about this is that we, you know, when you're using Sora 2, usually you are restricted on the platform to something like 500 or I think it's like either 1,500 characters on the platform. This allows you to kind of bypass that and you can have like really long prompts that allow you to actually get incredible results. So, this is a really great way because if you use Sora 2 Pro directly on the platform, it's $200 a month and you can get much cheaper and more affordable subscriptions on Arcads. 
So with this prompt in here, we can now add a reference photo. So we can search for our product. So you can upload your product directly in here. Now with this product, I'm gonna upload a reference like so. Um, of our actual image. When you upload a product reference into RCADS, you have to make sure that your image is higher than 600 pixels, I believe. So you need to have a good, crisp, high resolution image, and that's going to help you significantly with your output. So once you've got something you're happy with, you can kind of run this through, and then usually it takes about four or five minutes for your outputs to come through. Lucky for us, I've already done a couple already so that you can kind of have a look. And I did that exact same process. So let's take a look. Okay, this might be my new obsession. Dior Sauvage just smells insanely good, clean, bold, kind of addictive. Like, I can't stop wearing it. That's insane, right? Lip syncing, wild. In this one, I actually specifically asked for more of a cinematic look, um, and it just came out phenomenal. Okay. Let's have a look at this. Okay, this might be my new obsession. Dior Sauvage just smells insanely good. Clean, bold, kind of addictive. Like, I can't stop wearing it. That is insane. The product fidelity bold, on this bold. is just crazy, right? Text, flawless. Um, what's amazing about this as well is that we can download this, right? And it's eight megabytes, meaning it's not a compressed file size. It's not low resolution. This is social ready. You can start running this as social ads immediately, straight out of Arcads, which is really exciting. So if we kind of open this up here, you can see uh, it's already ready to go. Okay, this might be my new obsession. Dior Sauvage. My general recommendation is that you could use an, a video upscaler, something like Topaz Astra, for example, so that you could actually upscale this image and take it to that next level as well. And you can use a precision upscaler to make sure that you're not um, kind of removing any of those like important okay. details. Here's this another example, by the way. My, okay, this might be my new obsession. Dior Sauvage just smells insanely good. Clean, bold, kind of addictive. Like, I can't stop wearing it. Right, just wild. Um, so let's go back to our project here and let's run a couple more of these so that we can see this traditional iPhone style UGC content. So what's also interesting about this is that they have some presets, right, with these characters. Now, if we were to select another character, right, um, what we could do is we could take a screenshot of one of these characters, for example. So let's say I really liked uh, let's pick this girl here, right? I can go ahead and take a screenshot of this character, like so. And then we can go back into ChatGPT because inside of here, there is a description of what our model looks like. It's like custom built into our prompt. We actually can use like an iterative process, right? So let's go and download this image here. And then we can upload this into ChatGPT um, inside of the custom GPT and say, describe this scene and this model inside of this prompt. Okay, and then it's gonna rewrite our prompt for us, but it's gonna use the other actor, right, in the style that they have there as a reference so that we can actually kind of go through this round of iteration. Um, and let's see if we can kind of see this. See, look here, in-flight presenter. Um, dun, 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 dun. Subject, a human presenter, a young woman with light skin, medium length brown hair. Uh, it's gone into those details. iPhone handheld feel warm cabin, um, dun, 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 let's see, uh, warm cabin, top light. So there's a load of these uh, key details in here. And look at this prompt, like it's still going. Um, if you wanted to specifically adjust the like script, what's great about this is that the script is always given to you at the end. So even up here, it feels super fresh, plus the bottle looks good in this light. And then there's also some script as well. Wait, here. So, okay, so I brought this little Dior Sauvage with me on the flight and it just smells unreal. Even up here, it's super fresh, plus the bottle looks good in this light. Um, honestly, it's kind of my favorite travel scent right now. Okay, so we can take this entire prompt and we can go back into Arcads. You can obviously like go in and tweak whatever you want to. So you can tweak the script so that they're saying specific things that you want um, and you can generate that on the back end as well. 
So while all of those are loading, let's have a look at what else Arcads has to offer. So we can also do things like use Google VO 3.1, which is one of the best AI video models up there with Sora 2. So if we select Google VO 3.1 as our video model, we can also upload a reference image of our actual product. But what's also interesting about this is that we can use a start frame. So if we wanted to, we could use something like Google Nano Banana, we could custom design our own actor, and we can actually create that first frame with the actor holding the product. So you can actually create your own custom actors by going into the talking actor section here. And then if you press on add actors, then you can press the create actor section here. Now in here, it uses Google Nano Banana. So if you select this, you can upload a reference image of your product. So if we do the Dior, uh, Dior Sauvage in this example to keep continuity, we can upload a reference image of the product in here. And I can say a young female, uh, actress who is sat on a bed in a comfy room with warm lighting, holding a bottle of Dior Sauvage perfume, fairy lights in the background, iPhone uh, camera quality. Okay, we can hit generate and what it's going to do is it's actually going to generate a couple of different examples for us. So you can see if you hover over these, it will kind of give you a preview of a couple different examples and these look pretty good. So you could download one of these um, and you can do this over and over with like different models. So I'm going to use a male model in this next example. So now you can click on this button here and add this as a start frame. And you can see that it now loads that in here. Now we can simply give it a script as to what we want this character to say, for example. So there's loads of options here. So let's take a look. So now I could just go, the character is holding the perfume bottle and holds it out to the camera and says, this perfume bottle has been everything for me rec uh, recently. I am obsessed with it right? Um, so a really basic prompt like this, and we can simply just do a simple uh, upload in here. Um, and then we'll see that loading over here. Now, a couple of these generations have come through. So let's take a look and see how our natural UGC iPhone footage has come out. So I've been using this Dior Sauvage lately. And honestly, it just smells insanely clean. I love how the bottle catches the light. Super classy without trying too hard. So I've been using this Dior Sauvage. Pretty oh good. God. So I've been using this Dior Sauvage lately, and honestly, it just smells insanely clean. I love how the bottle catches the light super classy without trying too hard. It's kind of become my everyday. So I've been using this Dior. What's interesting about this is that it's trying to get all of like the text in there, like the script, but it's struggling to get all of it in. In this one, it did a great job. It actually managed to get everything in, but it cut off before the end. Let's take a look at this one. Okay, so I brought this little Dior Sauvage with me on the flight and it just smells unreal. Even up here it feels super fresh, plus the bottle looks so good in this light. So okay, so I brought this, this is wild, right? The audio on this is so good. And I think what's amazing about Sora 2 right now is that people are just not using this to create like mass volume of, you know, AI UGC. And there's such an untapped potential here. A lot of people are still relying on Google VO3 and there's so many flaws to it. Like it's kind of rigid. It doesn't have the best audio. The audio that comes out of Google VO3.1 is not that good. So Sora 2 is honestly just my go-to. It is so, so good at creating really high quality AI UGC. Something else that's so interesting and worth mentioning is you'll notice in the background of these videos so is music. Take a listen this Dior Sauvage lately and honestly it just smells insanely clean. I love how the this is entirely edited all with AI. No humans like needed. This is wild. And look, you can get like really localized with this. So there's US in here. Um, so you can change this so that you can tailor this and kind of personalize this to any regional content that you want. So you can run this in any location as well and get really specific when you're doing meta ads. Here's our Google VO 3.1 comparison. Check it out. This perfume bottle has been everything for me recently. I am obsessed with, with it. Right? So you'll notice there's like, even like those little like bits at the end. With, with it. Right, where it's kind of messing up the speech. 
Um, you know, Sora does an incredible job at making things seem natural, human, and lifelike. And also, take a look at this. The proportions, just because you're having to every- rely on creating a first frame when you do create with Google VO 3.1, first of all, that's time consuming. You have to generate the assets, whereas Sora does everything for you. You just need a reference image of the product. Now, what's interesting for me about this is that you know, if you're going down the Google VO3 route, you then need access to all of these other image tools and, and um, to create that final asset. Again, that's time consuming. You need to know how to do it. It's not complicated by any means, but you still need to teach someone to do it if you're trying to scale this with a team. But um, honestly, you can it's skip awesome all of that and just go straight into the ad production phase with um, Sora 2. So that's my recommendation. I've also just noticed actually that inside of Arcads, they have their own ups upscale uh, tools so you can upscale videos right so we Same could simply point. download this video here and then we can upload this if we wanted to use this as our final output we can upload it in here then we can simply hit upscale um, and it only costs 0.1 credits and then it's going to go and upscale over here for you so that's great you don't even need to leave the platform you can do everything you need all in one place I also want to talk about traditionally, if you're a company and you're trying to get like creators to create UGC content for you, you know how painful that is. I used to work at a creative agency in London and we were working with influencers and we had to pay them um, stupid amounts of money to actually go and do these adverts and they would take forever. They would send us crappy versions, uh, the audio would be bad or there'd just be something off about it. With this, you can generate it instantly. There's no communication back and forth. There's no having to dealing with influencers because let's be honest, uh, they're kind of the worst when it comes to trying to work with them. A lot of them take a really long time to respond. Um, maybe the deal ends up falling through halfway through. And this, there's just unlimited untapped potential. There's so much opportunity here, which is just super exciting. So you so can been, see here, this is the upscaled video version. So, so I've been using this Dior Sauvage lately, and honestly, it just smells insanely clean. I love how the bottle catches the light super classy without trying too hard. It's kind of Okay, interesting. Let's download these file sizes just so that we can compare Hello. both of these together. Okay, so our original file, which isn't upscaled, is 2.7 megabytes, and this upscaled version is 230 megabytes. So this is like well over 20 to 30 times bigger file size. So this is awesome. You know, the higher resolution, the better. Um, so that's, that's honestly great to see. There is so much untapped potential when it comes to using AI UGC, and this is all we have time for here today. But if you wanna learn more about creative AI, then you should check out GenHQ, which is our creative AI education platform that breaks down all of the top creative AI tools. So you can learn how to create the highest quality AI visuals in the market. If you wanna learn more about Arcads, you can click the first link in the description. And thank you very much for Arcads for sponsoring today's video.